Hey, yo, it's me, Brian. Well, we finally, you know, went and got it. Went and did it. Got me a brand new auto darkening super lithium battery welder something with a cool ass sticker on it. Alright. Okay. Alright. And we're about to, you know, I got my little setup here, a couple little pieces of steel. Uh, grounded, you know what I'm saying? Got my little setup, right? We're getting ready to use the arc welder here with the MIG welder, right? Uh, now, these are the contact tips that I had. They were wrong, 0 0.035. These are the ones that, I've, that I waited for, uh, zero point, or one, or point zero 0.030, zero, right? You see those are the ones that are on it? I'm checking over the welder to make sure everything's good, wire's good, you know what I'm saying? Feed inlet's good, right? We got the right set of tension, right? We got the right wheel on, you see everything's good, you know, kinks in the wire, right? All right. I checked the torch tip, right? And put a new contact tip on. <coughs> put a new contact tip on, you know what I'm saying? Got the wire good, you know, going through, good, feed's good. I got her cut down, you know what I'm saying? Right, pretty good. Right, we're gonna do a couple of little test beads right here, make sure we know what the hell we're doing. Right, when we get started doing what we're doing, because remember, right, we're lowering right, the seat rails, right, so we can put, you know, cool ass little seat on it. Right, okay, as you can see, I use the, you know, welder magnets here, and they got set up right where I want it. And then I, I ground the pipes to the shape of the, you know, what I'm welding to. Right, and Sam, but first off, we're gonna. Learn a few practice beads, make sure we remember what the hell we're doing and the welder's working right. I got the bottom over here set. I got um, about 1100 PSI in the bottle. And I got the regulator for the torch set to like right around 18 PSI. All right. So I got my wire feed speed at about 68. And I got my voltage at 4. All right. Okay, so this is where we're at. Yeah. I know, I'm not the greatest welder in the world. Right? And Sam, plus, I haven't welded in probably like 10 years. But, you know, Sam, my, my main point is that it didn't break. You know what I'm saying? Right? It's level. <coughs> all the way across here. Where's the magic bubble? Right, and that's what they make grinder wheels for. All right, from grinder down, fit her up, hit it, you know, some more spots if I need to again. All right, right there, the seat rails are, the seat rails are welded on. All right, so the next thing is, is weld up this little bracket right here, right here, right here. All right, and then drill two holes and mount the fender. All right, I'm going to take the fender, all right, cut a little bit where the little hole is. Cut it even, cut a line straight across, even it up with this side right here because this side's a little thin. And then I'm gonna, you know, use use the anvil right, and my jet blow hammer, right, right, and form the form the edge around. See, because I can just run bolt it right there. So that's the next thing we can do. Right now I gotta stop because I gotta get ready to go pump turn pump pick up mom. But there it is right there. Right, drop seat for an XS650. Yamaha Barber Project. <laughs>